You just were like celebrities know, man. As we all know, with the African American community, we are being somewhat attacked uh, culturally, physically, and mentally. I decided to put a quick letter together. I feel like it's very important for us as athletes, entertainers, and so forth to use our platform to affect our community in a positive way. In the words of Dr. King, America is essentially a dream. From the looks of things, the so-called African-American community appears to be walking with their eyes wide shut. As for our forefathers, they were brought to this nation as slaves. And we are suffering from it. It was as his spiritual. That's why these devils are scared. Because, like, how the hell the Israelites are waking up to who they are? It's spiritual, man. You know, it's time for us to get the help up, hell up out this bitch. That's why. The vibration of Israel is in the air. That's the spirit of Yahweh, why you have a shy. Serious identity crisis. In one generation, we were called or referred to as color, then Negroes. Afro-American, Blacks, and eventually African-Americans. Who are we people? But this is not by accident. This is the hand of God, as it is written. In Deuteronomy 28, verse 36 through 37, the Lord will bring you and the king which was set over you into a nation which you nor your fathers have known. And there you will serve other gods, wood and stone, and you will become an astonishment, a proverb, and a byword among all nations where the Lord will lead you. And this is one scripture out of the entire Bible. I can show you plenty more. With that being said, I ask that this be viewed not merely as a statement, but as a call to action. In the near future, I'll be sponsoring a community development roundtable meeting with some other concern proactive community leaders. It's time that we stop thinking as individual persons and begin to mobilize as a unified people. Peace and love. Amar Stoudemire. Only the elect. Only the elect can unify. Only Yahweh, I will shine.